Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Just Little Things in Life. I'm Li Hui, your host for this podcast. Today, I'm going to talk about rainy days. Why? First of all, for the past few weeks, we have been discussing some heavy topics. And second, because now it's raining outside and probably it might continue to rain for a couple more hours. Okay, so how do you feel when it's raining? Do you feel happy or sad? People often say that rainy days get their mood down and they feel all the negative emotions just like how they feel depressed on Mondays. And actually, according to WebMD, bad weather can indeed have a negative effect on your emotions. There was one study that nearly 9% of people fall into the category of rain haters. This group of people feel angrier and less happy on rainy days. And there actually another study found that rain can even increase the number of negative posts published on Facebook. I don't know about others, but me personally, I'm not a rain hater. In fact, I'm actually a rain lover, except for the time when I need to go out and it starts to rain and I need to go to the trouble of taking out an umbrella and using it. In that case, I would definitely curse the F word and I would hate the rain so much. Maybe because I live in Malaysia, a country that's located next to the equator, there are no four seasons here. So the only days we have are rainy days and hot weather. I figure that most Malaysians like me, we love rainy days because it can cool down definitely our temperature and sometimes our mood, our cranky mood also. So if you have come to Malaysia before, you know what I'm saying. Although our country's highest temperature is nowhere near the summer temperature of other countries that can even spike up to 40 degrees Celsius, but our climate, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, is always warm and humid. I mean, the worst part is the humid. It's like the feeling you will feel when you go to the spa or sauna or you are steaming a bun. Like a few days ago, there was no rain. I woke up in the morning because of the heat and I kept sweating for the whole day and it felt sticky and uncomfortable. So whenever there's a downpour, the temperature drops a few degrees Celsius and we feel a little bit cooler. Our mood is better, less crankier. I mean, at least for me, because it's very easy for me to get irritated during the hot weather. Because the rain seemed to have cooled down our whole body, not only physically, but mentally also. Okay, but actually right now, I feel a little bit sleepy and my head is heavy. It seems that I need to take a nap after this podcast. <laughs> Are all of our listeners like me during the day, during rainy days, that you feel like you want to relax, chill a little and just be lazy for the day? Or you are the type of person that are always 24 stroke 7 motivated and want to get things done. No other things can stop you and even the weather is cool and chilly. Nope, I'm definitely the first time. So whenever it's rainy day, my head will feel heavy like there's a weather detector inside me that can detect the weather, detect the rain and tell my body not to work, just relax the day. I mean, it's absurd and funny, but that's what happened to me. I don't like to go out when it's raining outside. So my way of relaxing is not going to the shopping mall to shop or watch a movie in the cinema, but just stay at home for the whole day and do my own things. Because I don't feel like working or writing my assignments during raining days, I would just normally watch YouTube videos and scroll my Instagram. If I don't feel like doing that, I would just lay on my bed, listen to the music and read a fiction book. Yeah. I mean, it sounds boring, right? But that's how I enjoy my spare time and my free time. Then usually because it's raining, my focus span is shorter. So I will feel sleepy. After reading for 15 minutes, then I will doze off. Yeah, I sleep in the middle of reading. Normally, I don't take naps because I'm just not used to sleeping in the middle of the day. But when it's raining, I could sleep in for hours until I wake up naturally. 
Of course, this don't happen that often now. It's sad because I rarely get the chance to take naps.、Mm. But compared to the time when it's raining, actually, I like the time when the rain is over more. The air is fresh and clear. The light breeze that touch my skin and cheeks feel chilly and cool. It makes me feel like everything is okay. There's no need to be stressed out and just enjoy your day. So normally I will go out for a walk at the park after the rain, and it feels even better, way better than staying at my house. My mind feels refreshed and clearer. If I'm solving a math question and I'm stuck for hours, and when the rain is over, I will definitely hundred percent go out for a walk. And when I come back, magically I know how to do the question and I will solve it in less than five minutes time. I know that this sounds absurd and bizarre, but that's what I do, and that's what it works for me. <laughs> also, after the walk at the park, my mood is better for the day, for the whole day, and sometimes it can even last up to a few days. So don't isolate yourself too much. Take advantage of the cool weather. Step outside your house and just go out to see the world. I promise that you will find yourself be exposed to new things. And positive thoughts and emotions will be rushing towards you before you even know or even realize that. And probably, if you are lucky enough, you can discover something that you never have the time to pay attention to before, like the flowers that are blooming right now. Yeah, they are amazing and stunningly beautiful. So try it, guys. Try. It. Just go out after the rain and see the world. It's really amazing outside. And by the way, there are also plenty of things that you can do. During rainy days, if it's raining outside, you can go outside. You can just do them at your own comfy little house. You can solve puzzle. You can solve a puzzle, watch a movie with your family, play with your pet dog, and learn how to bake tiramisu cake. There are so much things to do. Don't just sit down and scroll your phone. There are a lot of fun things, not boring at all activities to do to spend your time during rainy days. So all these activities can keep you accompanied and happier, so you don't feel lonely and emo when it's raining. Okay, that's all for today, and I hope that after listening to this podcast, you will find the rainy days are special and see it as a chance for you to slow down in your busy day and just relax. Okay, so today's song recommendation is "Paris in the Rain" by Love. Hope you enjoy it. Goodbye.